Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to day three, episode three of the 30 most important hard rock and heavy metal albums in history, or the, or the most important albums in hard rock and heavy metal history, I should say. Uh, 30 Days of November, 30 albums that for me, I feel are some of the most important albums that help shape what we now know as hard rock and heavy metal. So we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff that happened like way, way back when, specifically this one. Uh, we're kind of going somewhat in chronological order here throughout the month. This one released uh, January 16th, 1968. A band from the San Francisco area of California, released on the Phillips label, barely 34 minutes long, I'm talking about it. In fact, the original album was 32 minutes long. The CD reissue threw in a bonus track. I'm talking about Vincibus Eruptum by Blue Cheer. Another power trio. Man, we've talked a lot of power trios the last couple days, right? Cream, the Jimi Hendrix Experience, now Blue Cheer. The heaviest out of all three of them. I mean, these guys like busted out of the gate with this like massive sounding wall of feedback and distortion, taking the blues to a new level of heaviness. Uh, Dickie Peterson on vocals and bass, uh, Lee Stevens on guitar, and Paul Whaley on drums. All it took was those three guys to make this tremendous racket. Big, bluesy, beefy, distortion laden riffs. Dickie's screechy vocals, thunderous drumming. I mean, yeah, this this was this was a noisemaker. I mean, I wasn't old enough, obviously. I was just a wee little kid in 1968. But uh, for those who uh, were around back in the time, apparently live blue cheer were a force to be reckoned with as far as volume and screeching guitar solos and riffs and feedback and thunderous rhythms and all that sort of thing. Not surprising, because this is a pretty kind of raucous and loud album for 1968. I mean, this takes what Cream and Hendrix were doing and like kind of amps it up quite a bit. Start, you know, half the album is covers. The other half is original stuff. We got Summertime Blues, the Eddie Cochran classic, right? All that kind of crazy feedback stuff going on. Great rendition of Summertime Blues. You got uh, Rock Me Baby, the old B.B. King blues classic right then you got dr please which is an original song by the band one of my favorite tracks on here big crazy distortion fuzz soaked riffs on that out of focus another original killer song it's bluesy but man it's heavy it's psychedelic just you know this is like basically the blueprint for the the stoner rock period right for the most part uh then you got a great rendition of parchment farm I think I kind of like Cactuses a little bit better, but this is still really good. Uh, and then Second Time Around, another original track. Again, kind of bluesy, but still pretty heavy. If you get the CD reissue, we got uh, another um, uh, cover song, All Night Long. It's got some piano in it as well. It's kind of really different from the rest of the album, but uh, almost like the, the reissue didn't really need that because it doesn't quite fit. But the rest of the six songs just ballsy and like you know the audacity of these three young guys in 1968 to come out with something this obnoxiously loud and different love it and i mean just look at them right they look like heavy metal pioneers don't they i mean this is like uh you take a look at that cover photo and these guys and you're like that's basically what you had lots of bands looking like over the next five to ten years so I, I always give Blue Cheer a ton of credit in helping to create what we now know as heavy metal because all the attitude, all the power, all the volume is here already. And while, you know, these guys weren't like virtuoso musicians, they didn't really need to be because here they were just kind of creating that impact. And that's, you know, all the, the energy, all the power that hard rock and heavy metal we would see from in those, those two musical art forms, heavy music, you know. Hendrix and the Cream got it going. You could arguably say, you know, some songs here and there by the Kinks and a little bit by the Who. The Who's coming up in a couple days, so fear not. Uh, but man, it's Blue Cheer that really amped things up to 11, so to speak. 
Uh, so for that, I have to include them in this series. Such an important band to heavy music. Blue Cheer and their debut album, Vincibus Eruptum from 1968. That is my choice today for uh, one of the 30 most important albums in hard rock and heavy metal history. Stay tuned for another one coming up tomorrow and each and every day this month. Uh, this is on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Uh, coming up, we've got uh, hopefully some uh, some new reviews for you today. It's going to be a little slow on the new review front because, uh, quite frankly, I was sick for the last couple days and uh, I really haven't been listening to much of anything. So uh, I do have uh, definitely one, a book review coming up for you, and you might might get one, maybe two new album reviews today. If not, I'll save a bunch for next week. So thanks for watching, everybody, and tune in tomorrow. we got the Monsters Den tomorrow, Friday morning at the Funhouse with Martin Popoff. And we've got album homework assignment coming up on Sunday. Christian Canzanieri going up against Chuck Alvarez. So stay tuned for that. And a lot more here on the channel. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. See you real soon. Bye-bye.